Alrighty then. Plain? Well, I guess. In my old school, I liked to eat outside, near the back of the building. It was as, it was a good spot, but I didn't find it until near the end of my freshman year. I wonder if there is a similar place to eat here. Misha seems to imply as much. Shizune and Misha pull me towards the cafeteria, which is a surprising, which is surprisingly not packed. Maybe some students favor eating in classroom or outdoors. I saw some of my classmates had back, uh, had box lunches. After we finish eating, Misha picks up where we left off earlier. So, Hee-chan, you wanted to know about clubs and stuff, right? Right? Dot, dot, dot. Right, Hee-chan. Okay, I guess it makes sense to ask first. Exchanging little nods of confirmation, they turn to face me again, and Misha straightens her posture as if she is about to deliver a speech. Hee-chan, do you have anything you were really interested in? I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into it. I don't follow the teams and players or anything like that. As of late, I usually just read a lot. Hmm, there is a book club, right, Chi chan Right, but it seems that they have all the members they could possibly have right now. Sorry, Hee chan It's a really popular club. That's surprising. Dot, dot, dot. Huh, okay. But more to the point, Hee chan Does this mean that you don't have anything already in mind? Not really. Dot, dot, dot. Good. Great. That's... Great, Hee Chan. Really great. Wahaha. Wahahaha. Oh my god, that was from Dexter's Laboratory. Why is it so great? No reason. Well, Hee Chan, other than the clubs and the upcoming festival, there is one other thing Student Council! I see. I didn't know the school had a student council. It was a very melodramatic setup, though. Just to tell me that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the two of them know this because she's she uh, Shizune mm. looks a little embarrassed about it, and Misha is laughing. Shizune quickly retakes control of the discussion in a manner of speaking. After all, it's still Misha who has to voice whatever she says. Dot dot dot. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Right, right, Hee Chan, maybe you should join the student council. They could use more people. Yes, definitely. You should definitely join. Why? Well, for one, you could hang out with us every day, Hee Chan. Shee Chan and I are both in the student council. Actually, Shee Chan is the president. Hmm. I'm starting to get the suspicion that Shizune and Misha might not exactly be the most unbiased people to talk to about this. As if reading my mind, Shizune quickly adjusts her glasses and signs something to Misha. Dot dot dot. Wah ha ha ha. Of course, we aren't trying to get you to join just because we would obviously benefit from you joining the student council and therefore have an incentive to try and get you to. So you're admitting that. Dot dot dot. Ha ha ha. No, we're, we admit nothing. I mean, hey Chan, of course it would be nice if you joined and we'd appreciate it, but even without that, joining the student council shows a healthy interest in the workings of one's school. Yup, it's true, He-chan. Besides, don't you want to spend time with us after school, He-chan? I can't tell if she's being genuine or if it's just a really good acting. Both of them seem to be trying hard to look their cutest, although they're already pretty cute to begin with. Well... Dot dot dot. So it's settled then. Welcome to the student council, Hee Chan. Wait. What? No. No. Aw, see, Hee Chan, of course it wouldn't go so easily. Dot dot dot. Yup, yup, that's right. Though it would be boring if it went that smoothly. Oh well, Hee Chan owes me candy now. You were betting on it? Hey, my life is not a game here. <laughs> Actually, your life is a game, and I'm playing it. Shizune seems very intrigued by this when Misha signs it to her. The aggressive glint returns to her eyes. Dot dot dot. I mean, her speech is so deep. Shizune's speech is just impacts us so much. It's amazing. Wahahaha! It's interesting. Hee Chan, let's play a game. That's not what I said. 
How about rich man, poor man, he chan If you lose, you could have, you could have, you have to join the student council. No, absolutely not. Aw, why not? Well, because you two both have the same, same incentive, and therefore the same goal, which is to get me to join the student council, right? Yup. Well, that isn't my goal. But what this means is that both of you can team up and I'll be at a clear d disadvantage, so I'll have to decline. Dot dot dot. He chan I'm very offended. Are you trying to... Are you saying you don't trust us? That we would pull something so dit dith in jit us? Yeah, that makes me sad. Sorry. It's hard to tell where Shizune's influence ends and Misha's thoughts begin. Dot dot dot. In order to atone for hurting a young lady's feelings, you should definitely join the student council. No. How about a game of paper football instead of rich man, poor man? Paper football? Yeah, it's a game we, they play in America. You make a paper triangle and then you try to shoot it past the goal post that the other player makes with their fingers. Isn't that cool? The ultimate form of competition between two people, he chan. They'll just move their fingers out of the way. Dot dot dot. And it's also played by elementary school and middle school children, she chan. Wahahaha. That means that it's a game and it really separates the boys from the men. More like the boys from the slightly older boys. Anyways, I'm not going to play that either. Just the fact that you know about it means you're probably surprisingly good at it. Wah ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. That's true. How did you know, he chan? Shizune frowns at Misha, telling me that she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so readily. I wouldn't say that I'm happy with their attempts to get me to the, into the student council, but I'm a little curious about what the student council does here. I'd never been on one before, or even known anybody who was a member, so it interests me. I also kind of like Shizune and Misha, so maybe it couldn't be so bad. Dot dot dot. Okay, he chan how about Risk? The name of the, the game of world domination. I don't know what that is. It's really fun, he chan You fight for control of the world th with armies and everything. Sounds like Shizune would be good at it. If you want to play, we can after school. Dot dot dot. Ah, really, Shi Chan? We can play just for fun? He Chan, Shi Chan hasn't played in a long time. If you want to, there are no strings attached. Well, okay. Okay, okay, perfect. We'll see you after school in the student council room, then, He Chan. Wait, why there? Because that's where we keep the game. Wahahaha. <laughs> I grimace to tell them how much I do not like this, but it's more for show than anything. So, in the end, I agree, but only after getting Shizune to acknowledge that I don't mean anything concrete just by accepting to look around and play a g game with her. Lunch ends, and we head and we go back to class. Whew. Oh, there she goes again. Long, dark-haired girl. During afternoon classes, the long-haired girl comes back and sits down in her own seat without a word. Again, no one seems to notice, but if they do, no one says anything. I want to ask Misha about it, but I don't want to be nosy. After school, Shizune and Misha quickly find me by the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering each flank in case I might try to escape. I feel a little offended, but I've been considering it. Nevertheless, I'm a bit disturbed that enough people have made a break for it in the past that they're on their guard. What's with the escort? This does, doesn't seem... This doesn't make me feel very comfortable. Uh, in fact, it makes me feel like a dangerous prisoner being transported to his cell. Wahahaha! What's wrong, He-chan? Dot dot dot. That's right. We're just going to play a game of Risk, remember? I don't know, Misha. This all seems a little sinister to me. I start thinking about when we sit down to play the game, they'll tie me down and torture me until I agree to join the student council. That'd be kinky. Well, that's highly unlikely, but still. For some reason, it seems like it would be so plausible. Getting to the student council room is as simple as turning two corners from where we started. What? That's it? This makes you guys so on top of me seem a little silly. 
dot dot dot. That's not true, He Chan. Shi Chan says that they're that when their life is threatened, people have shown the capability to pull off superhuman bursts of speed. Life is threatened. <laughs> I know, right? What? Her expression unchanging, Misha signs something amusedly to Shizune, who makes a baffle, baffling face and puts her hands back behind her back, looking pleased with herself. <laughs> Misha offends deafness and hums cheerily. Stop that. I know you heard me. You have no excuse, unlike Shizune. Shizune opens the door to the student council room. It's a very it's very plain, sparsely decorated room, although it's quite large, maybe even a little larger than a classroom. There's a big table in the center surrounding, surrounded by chairs and a smaller desk prominently placed in the back that I assume is Shizune's. There are a few regular desks and chairs stacked to one side, well, as well, extras perhaps. Aside from the tables and chairs, the room doesn't have much else to offer. Just a couple of filing cabinets and bookshelves stacked with old school records and documents. Not much else. In fact, nothing else. It's This is a pretty bleak room. They could at least put a potted plant in here or something. But the most noticeable thing in this room does not doesn't have its own peep. Wait, it doesn't have other people. Yeah. Are we early? Da da da. No. What do you mean no? Does it mean no one else is coming today? Da da da. Yeah, that's right. Before I manage to ask why that's the case, Shizune, Shizune claps her hands together very energetically. Da da da. Hee-chan, let's play Risk. Come on, you promised, didn't you? You have to. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to know the rules? We can explain to you while we set up everything up. While Misha is talking, Shizune takes out what looks like a board game from behind one of the filing cabinets and throws it on the table. Actually, it looks kind of interesting. After Misha spends a little too long for her liking running through the basics with a somewhat vague and confusing tutorial, Shizune cuts in and declares the game has started with a decisive motion slicing her arm through the air. Shizune's aggressiveness is rubbing off on me. I start to feel more competitive than I intended to be when I agreed to this. Halfway into the game, while I try to ponder how to defend against Shizune's assault from two fronts, she breaks my concentration by drumming her fingers on the table to get my attention. <coughs> Yi chan Shi chan wants you to know that you're taking too long to make a move. Shi chan also says that she will let you keep Australia if you would agree to join the student council. I thought this was a game with no strings attached. Just the fact that she would dangle that over my head as an offer means that she knows I care about the outcome of this game. And anyway, no. Dot dot dot. Shi chan admires your fighting spirit and would be a benevolent dictator who will spare your people if you agree to join the student council. Ha 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 ha. You're so competitive, Shizune. She seems to take this as a compliment. I would expect the student council president to be a little more magnanimous. Magnanimous? Yeah, I did the exact same thing. She doesn't seem to know what that word means or how it's signed, so she pulls it out a piece of paper and writes it for Shizune, who in turn signs it back to Misha. Misha presses her index fingers against her temples as if trying to physically imprint the word in her memory. Dot dot dot. Suddenly, Shizune bursts into a flurry of gestures. Misha looks daunted by the pace of her heated signing. Uh, wait, please slow down. Oh dear. Please slow down, Shi Chan. Um, He Chan, Shi Chan says you're going to lose. Oh, am I? Tell her I will crush her world empire with my rebellion. Uh, okay. Those eyes of hers shine with childlike mischief. Dot dot dot. She says you have no chance if you keep playing like this. No, you won't. 